Hey gang, Frank back here with you. We're doing a hardware review today. We are doing it on the Eclipse from Mike Vapes and Yacht Vape. Mike Vapes designed it, Yacht Vape manufactured it. Uh, you can find it a whole lot of different websites. I purchased mine. I didn't get it you know, sent to me for a review or anything. So it's a you know, completely unbiased view, of, unbiased review of this RTA. Nice, short, compact. 24 millimeter. I have it on the uh, Drag V2 Rocky Tooney custom wrap. And it sits on there nice. All right, let's go down. Let's get an up close look at the Eclipse from Yacht Vape. Come on, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, here is the Eclipse from Mike Vapes and Yacht Vape. Here's everything you're going to get. You can see you got Mike Vapes logo there. You got Yacht Vape on this side. Eclipse flipped around on that side. Yacht Vape there. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see everything you get, all the colors and everything. Here you get one Eclipse RTA, one user manual, one pre-built coil, one cotton, one bubble glass, one extra 810 drip tip, accessory bag, 510 drip tip adapter, and one coil lead guide, you guys see. All right. Open that up. Here you go. And again, you're going to get a little promo card. You can win a rare color RTA RDA. And you get their Yacht Vape social media is there, Facebook, uh, Instagram, that good stuff. And here you're going to have your RTA and your accessory bag. Before we get to your RTA, let's see you get the new accessories. All right, let's see you get in this goodie bag here. It has the Eclipse logo there. Open this up like this. Come on. Messed up too bad. I already had open once just to make sure everything was there before I started shooting the video. I'm gonna have this little coily tool. Recommend between six and a half and seven on the coily thing. There you can see that. Get the user manual in there. I popped that out. Uh, you know, it's a user user manual. You know, what's your seal on the user manual, right? We don't look, we don't use them anyway. Here's your bubble glass. We're going to go ahead and we're going to install that. Have your Allen wrench, five pin drip tip adapter, extra 810, O-ring, some grub screws. And here, I love this. It tells you recommended six and a half to seven. So you nichrome 80.3 resistance. And you do get an aglet in there for us that aren't very good at wicking. It makes it a hell of a lot easier. And here we're going to have what we want here is the eclipse here you see mike vapes is mike vapes eclipse on there serial number i got eight thousand nine hundred and sixty two is that manufactured by yacht vape uh it has a hybrid i mean it is hybrid safe the airflow see if we can get it going here goes all the way around has a stopper comes back the other way and wide open again what happens on one side is going to happen on the other you can see right through it with the regular glass it holds two mls of e-liquid with the bubble glass that we're going to put on it's going to bring it up to two three point five and if you can see in there let me see if I can, you can see right in there that's where you're going to adjust your your coils that's where you're going to tighten your coils up so you can compact everything down and you know, standard 810 pretty simple quarter turn pop big big kidney shaped fill holes I mean, you can use any bottle in there any dripper you know any you know drip bottle and you're not going to have any problem filling this for a small size it has a lot of you know for a small in size it does offer a lot Let's get this apart. 
without breaking anything there we go let's see right there see the come off there okay here we go here's your build deck you have four post holes this way you whatever whatever way your coil is wrapped uh you can go either side with it you know, you're positive you're negative so you know you're gonna put one here one here or one here one here or you probably one there one there but i don't see why you'd do that so probably going this way or that way let's say you're going to go through there let me see one thing real quick my regular tool is not going to fit i don't think it's going to get in there and turn it not quite just a little too a little too fat i think yeah that's not gonna work so this as expected if i wanted to use that you could take this you can take this airflow off but there's o-rings in there that you don't want to get messed up so let's go in the goodie bag here and let's get their allen wrench their allen key put in there back them out a little bit you don't want to back them out too far you don't want them to fall out because it'd be real pain in the ass to put them back let's do this side oops all right it should be out enough let's put this let's just put this on a build stand make it a little easier there we go let's use the uh let's use the coil and the cotton that's provided so let's get our little coily tool let's go six and a half just like that my fingers out of the way that out of the way and there snip and snip and it's just a tri-core fuse clapton i'm gonna save them pieces you don't want them going flying everywhere and getting stepped on and that hurts like a son of a bitch so let's take this See, we open that side and that side. So we're going to go here and here. It's not sitting there, is it? Let's get that right out there for a second. There we go, just like that. Let's go six and a half. Get in here and tighten these down. I do really like that, how it's compact like that. You just got to be careful that you don't that you end up having to take it apart if you end up getting one of them grub screws out too far and it falls out. Just like that. Let's go ahead and let's put this on a mod. You can see there we got plenty of room. I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna put it on my Vupu Drag Two Rocky Tuny Edition. Yes, new coil. I'm guessing that was not yes, new coil. So, all right, this is odds coming out to a 0.19 resistance for some reason. Let's see when I glow this and. Get the hot spots out what we're looking at maybe it'll come up all right there we go nice and glowing still saying a point one nine this is, this is odd it's supposed to be a point three 
Okay, there we go. And I found what the issue was. Now it's on uh, 0.32. Uh, the 510 was just a touch loose. So I'll bring it back to about 40 watts. Let's go ahead and let's wake this puppy up. At least I know it wasn't anything major with the coils. Just, just the 510 was a little loose. So let's go ahead and pull this through. Nice tug on a little bit, but it'll be all right. Now, basically, we're gonna to we're gonna cut right to the end of the deck here. And that side, and if can get right on this side, that and. Go ahead, grab our tweezers and just thin it out a little bit, fluff it up, get that capillary action going. Just basically thin it out a little bit. Don't need a whole lot. The import being a uh, bottom airflow, you're not going to need a whole, I mean, a ton of cotton. You're going to need a fair amount. Let's trim it up a hair more. Give a little side cut. Not too bad. Just place the cotton in the wicking channels here. You don't want to jam it in there, but you want to make sure it's in there. Just like set it in there. It doesn't need to go all the way to the bottom. Just there. And just in there like that. And just a little bit of room. And it could be up like that. It's not going to hurt anything. All right, let's give it some e-liquid. There we go. Now let's go ahead and change out this glass because I really want to use the bubble glass. I like the capacity. So you're just going to take the top off like that if you want. This will just, should just pop out. I got some in there. There you go. Right out. Take your bubble glass out of the package. I'm gonna put the old one back in there so you don't lose it. Just in case you break the bubble glass. And just snap it together. At least there's no extra O-rings or anything you gotta worry about. Just make sure it's sitting right. No gaps. Put your little top back on. There you go. Now just go ahead and just Screw it all together. Looks good. Let's fill her up. Make sure that we don't have any leaks. I'm saying it holds three and a half mils of e-liquid. Put the top back on, and we'll go ahead and give her a vape. There we go. Sounds good.
Alrighty, gang, there you have it. The Eclipse from Yacht Vape and Mike Vapes. Little single coil flavor banger. Have it running at 65 watts with a 0.32. That's wide open. A little noisy. I mean, not horrible. Get that nice crackle. <coughs> turn it down a little bit. Let's see what way we want to turn this. There we go. It's about halfway. The flavor is a little bit more intense. I mean, I didn't change the wattage. I left it at 65 watts. But this is really probably one of the better flavor RTAs that I've ever tried. I mean, I put it right up there with uh, with RDA flavor. I mean, it's really good. And with the bubble glass, you get three and a half mils of e-liquid, which I mean, for me, all day driving a truck, I'm gonna have to fill it a lot. I'll probably use this. Plus, I'll still use my uh, my Titan. So you know, tail of two styles there one's a you know big monster 20 20 mils of e-liquid two big coils and this you know three millimeter nichron 80 nichrome 80 coil 0.3 came out 0.32 right where it should have been let's say i did have to uh tighten the 510 pros and cons let's say you know, flavor is excellent easy to build as you saw nice and squatted tight so it gives extra flavor N nice big juice holes uh, you know uh, you know, juice ports you know kidney shaped juice ports uh drip tip that comes with it it's comfortable uh the other one is you know another recurve style just as comfortable it comes with a 510 drip tip adapter if you want to put your 510s on there but uh let's say the only cons was let's say i had you know, you know the 510 pin was a little bit loose so i had to tighten that up uh see if you do bring your your grub screw out too far you're gonna have to take it apart to get it back out and put it back in that could that's gonna be a pain in the ass but besides that let's say wicks wicks like a champ you know it comes with a coil and cotton so i mean you can you know go to shop pick it up with very little tools go ahead and put it together and start vaping on it you don't need to do a whole lot which is nice that they you know they include these things and i don't normally use what it comes with but i wonder do it for you guys and see if it's worth it. And then, you know, I'm getting really good flavor. And typically, you know, it's a little noisy, but there's not any RTAs out there that really aren't noisy. And, uh, you know, tells you to recommend it comes with the coily, co coily tool. <laughs> yeah. Comes with this thing. You know, it tells you, you know, it tells you right on the package, you know, go six and a half or seven, whichever you choose. I think six and a half is probably a little bit better. I think seven, because it's so slammed, you might if you don't have it in there flush, it may make contact with the chimney. But besides that, it's good. Alrighty, gang. Thanks for your time. Make sure you you advocate. We need you right now. You know, big war going on. FDA and all these ants groups are uh, going after vaping once again. But besides that, that's it. Be safe. Wash your hands, don't talk to strangers, and we'll see you on that next video. Bye, everybody.